Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be making a prosthetic piece for a werewolf because I'm going to be doing a kind of rainbow werewolf fantasy style makeup look which I'll be doing in my next video. Um, I'll be using a face cast that I made myself so there's more tutorials on YouTube on how to make face casts. If you want me to make a tutorial on it for you just let me know. Um, but I'll be making this whole prosthetic piece out of tin foil and tissue paper so it'll be more for people who don't have things or access to things like liquid latex, prosade, any of these things that are used in special effects, actual prosthetics. It's more at home friendly and it's more suited for people who are beginners and who wouldn't know too much about special effects makeup already. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing in this video and I'll show you there now in two seconds. So let's get watching. So we're going to start off by getting a face cast and we're going to get some tin foil and what we're going to do is we're going to make a ball out of the tin foil and put it over the nose part of the face cast smoothening down all the edges onto the cast as you're going. Then you can just get a metal tool to really smoothen down those edges and So just make sure to focus most of the tin foil onto the center coming out so it radiates from the face so it follows the natural contours. After this layer I'm going to go ahead and get a sheet this time and without crumpling it up I'm going to lay it over top just to smooth it out over all the edges to get rid of the majority of the texture from the tin foil. So I'm going to use two or three layers of tin foil just to build the length of the jaw and then after I'm going to go back over with another sheet piece just to smoothen out all the edges and while doing this I'm going to use the metal tool along the way just to make sure that all the edges are smoothened down and it helps you actually sculpt the shape that you want to have in the end. So now I'm just putting the nose piece on and then putting the jaw piece on also just to have a look at how they look next to each other and then I'm just going to gauge what way I want the brow bone piece to be done. So I'm just thinking about now I want to make a very wolf like face so what I want to do is extend the brow bone and make it more prominent but I don't want to make it so big that it's going to be longer than these two pieces here. So as I'm going I'm just going to smooth out the edges just to make sure that it does fit the contours of the face. I'm going to layer up but I'm going to press down in the middle just to make the two brow bones prominent but keeping the middle ridge of the nose actually sunken into the face. I'm just going to go ahead and reinforce all the structural changes that I made, like making the brow bone more prominent, reducing the bridge of, of the nose. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get some white modeling clay and this is the one that you bake in the oven so if you do want to solidify it you can and it will make it more sturdy and durable but if you're only using it for like a one time project and you don't mind too much you can just use it the way it is. And while making the teeth, I'm just placing them all next to each other just to get a rough idea of what way I want them to look when they go onto the prosthetic in the end. I just didn't really want to put that much effort into it, so I just tried to put it together as quick as I possibly can, so I only made the eight. And here's the teeth now, so you get a rough idea of what it's going to look like when I glue them onto the prosthetic. I'm just going to use super glue to adhere all the teeth into the prosthetic piece. I used a makeup brush to make little dents in the tin foil just to know where I was going to put the teeth before that. But what I'm doing is just putting the super glue on the base of the tooth and just pressing it into the slots that I made previous. I 
and just do this with your other piece and you have a mouth and a jaw piece finished then. So just get spirit gum or any adhesive, it would be much quicker if I used liquid latex but I didn't actually have liquid latex and I had a small amount of spirit gum so the process took 45 minutes to an hour. But what you're going to do is put the spirit gum on your piece, tap it just to make it adhere quicker. It just makes it a bit tackier so you know when to stick it but while it's still wet get the sheet of tissue and just place it onto the piece. The tissue then like when you're painting it it'll give the prosthetic piece more of a skin like look instead of trying to paint over tin foil and it'll also be much easier to put makeup over the tissue than it would be on the tin foil anyway. So once you have the sheet down, the next step is just to get a sealer or another adhesive or use liquid latex again and just put that over the sheet you've just laid down because we'll need to layer it up or put like two or three sheets on it just to give it a nice sturdy base for when we're actually adhering it to the skin that you want to cover it up so you can actually adhere the other sheets of tissue over it then. So what we're going to do is we're going to put tissue all over the top and the under part of the nose piece just so when we're painting it later it will be easier to paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply all the sheets there now and I'll be back to you after that. Once you have the nose piece done then what you can do is go ahead and follow the same steps for the forehead piece and the lower jaw piece as well and cover them all up and once you have that done it's ready to be applied to your face and it's ready to be painted. So once you have that finished, all you need to do is just powder the prosthetic just to make sure that it doesn't stick to itself and just to make sure that it is dry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you can hit the notification bell down below as well so you get notifications every time that I upload a new video. Stay tuned for the next one because I will be doing a makeup look where I use this prosthetic as well just to show you how it can be used. So do stay tuned. You can follow me on my Instagram at Robin Hearts which I'll have up here and I'll have it linked down below.